Hey guys, I'm making a couple videos for online for Facebook and for my uh, uh, YouTube channel. So for you guys, Lily Sky Channel, hi guys. It's going to be the solar eclipse on Monday and today's Saturday. So um, on Monday. And what I want to share with you guys is that three days before the solar eclipse and three days after the solar eclipse, you can feel the energy of the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse is also going to be a new moon in Leo. So shout out to all the Leos out there. Uh, the most important thing as a Reiki practitioner, and I'm learning Qigong, is that you don't do anything to pull down energy from the sun and pull up energy from the earth on that day. It's so chaotic. You have, what is it, the sun, the moon, Mars, north node in Leo. And what is it? Sagittarius in Saturn and Uranus in Aries. And that all has different meaning. And I haven't written that one up yet, but I will put it in the video so that you can see that. But it all has different meanings. And we want to see how everyone, um, not that we want to see, but everyone will react differently to this solar eclipse. Um, I shared on the Facebook page for uh, Lily Sky Tarot um, that this is a once, pretty much a once in a lifetime event. So definitely view it because it's coast to coast. It's going right through the United States from the West Coast to the East Coast. And the last time in 1979, <laughs> um, that was like through Oregon or Washington State all the way up into Canada. So it was like a little piece of, of the U.S. got it. And before that was what, like um, 1918? And then before that was 1776 for the US. That was the first time for the US. So this is like a very special occasion. Make sure you go out, get your shopping done. You actually, if you're gonna do your own card readings for yourself or um, watch all these special, wonderful YouTubers uh, with their tarot readings, definitely do that. Personally, for me, I feel like this is a time to go in, stay grounded, stay connected to your body. Um, and maybe on Sunday do a, a, a card reading for yourself and then on Monday observe the energy I strongly feel that observe the energy uh, if you can remember if you live like uh, around trees a lot what happened on Thursday Friday Saturdays today see what happened Sunday night um, in one of my uh, classes uh, someone shared that even birds will stop chirping at uh, the solar eclipse around that time. Of course, animals uh, act different when there's a tsunami coming or earthquake or volcano eruption. So the animals will actually get quiet. It will, they'll leave, of course. They're like, you know, <laughs> getting the heck out of Dodge, right? <laughs> so, so notice around you how people are acting. I mean, I noticed that in the full moon, how people, personalities change, right? Um, so that's like a heightened time at full moons, especially if, if it happens on a Friday or a Saturday. It's like, you know, come on, it's crazy, right? So notice how the solar eclipse is, but think of it as a special time, a, a, a special occasion, and really just enjoy it and view it and, and, um, and just enjoy this uh, universe uh, solar system that we live in. and how amazing uh, and beautiful it all is. So let me know what you guys do for Monday when we get to view the uh, solar eclipse here in the US. And for everyone around the world, let me know how it affects you because it will affect everyone all over the world, but mostly where the, they can see it. So definitely share that. And I think a Sunday card reading, if you pull cards yourself, would be ideal. And uh, uh, if you, are uh, know of a kundalini studio in your area uh, or any kind of um, yoga practice uh, uh, that does mantras it's a good grounding mantra where i am for our reiki uh, circle gathering we're going to do a kundalini um, mantra uh, grounding uh, meditation and uh, should be fun so let me know what you guys are up to and thank you guys so much for watching this channel i hope you found it informative yeah and um yeah one more thing i wanted to say it's a new moon in leo so new moon starts new cycles so how does this apply to the um solar eclipse right um this is a time to just get grounded 
and being grounded means that you are just uh, being comfortable within your body, right? Just you being within yourself. And that's, that's very powerful because whatever you're going to start, um, you already have the intention and your goal already, but you're just not pulling in energy from above and below, right? You're not channeling. What you would be doing um, for all you tarot readers out there would be knowing your intention, but being one with yourself in this life, okay? And I'm going to talk, I'm going to um, talk about that uh, on Wednesday uh, at my Reiki circle, but you want to be within yourself in this carn in, uh, incarnation, in this life, and be grounded, right? And uh, three days before, um, grounding root chakra type of meditation on the actual solar eclipse, a special grounding meditation three days after grounding. Uh, meditation just so that you can deal with yourself and also deal with people around you and just everything going on so i hope this helps thank you guys for watching peace love and light namaste Sayonara.